Okay, our iPod Touch is still connected to our computer, and what we're going to do now is uh, we do have the firmware update up to 1.12, and what we're going to do next is we're going to shut down iTunes. I'm going to do a Control Alt Delete here uh, under Process. Look for anything. Uh, that has anything to do with uh, iTunes like for instance here iTunes helper I'm closing all these processes down and it's important I think to take into consideration that anything that we have here that might be Apple related or iTunes related might interfere with this next step this is just an extra added precaution so I'm going to shut that down now now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open up the uh, the jailbreak uh, for 1.12 firmware by clicking on this Windows bat. Now what this will bring us up to is a little requester here that basically says um, that this is for people who have used uh, the OK to prep in 1.1.1 and have updated to 1.1.2. What we're just going to do is go ahead and jailbreak. So at this point we're going to click on jailbreak with our uh, iPod touch uh, connected and basically let it run uh, what we see here is the jailbreak is uh, reading the flash image in the uh, downloaded program that we have for jailbreak and is adapting that to our iPod touch but uh, again this is for somebody who has downgraded their firmware to uh, 111 and is now updated to 1.12 firmware okay now we have uh, basically jailbreak is complete uh, it says right here done your device will automatically reboot a couple of times and will be jailbroken when finished so when you see this it's important to um, to let it run its course and as you can see uh, it already booted up once and will continue to do so uh, don't interfere with it uh, let it run its course and after that's all done then uh, you will have a full broken uh, jailbroken <laughs> not, not broken jailbroken iPod touch and here we go as you can see we have the installer and this is a 1.12 firmware we have uh, the install here so we have all of our applications available to us let's go back um, so basically with firmware let's go verify that this is indeed the uh, firmware so let's go to general and about and you can see right here this is indeed 1.12 firmware so we have a jailbroken 1.12 firmware uh, and that's precisely what we set out to do so you can go from a 1.11 firmware to 1.12 provided you follow the, uh, the steps uh, detailed in this video.